Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. I would give you $30,000 if you came to me and said, I'm sick and dying and I'm broke. Or, I'm trying to produce this thing and I don't have enough money and I'll pay you back. You, you know what I will say? That's what I would give you And th this is, for. I won't talk like numbers or anything like this, but like, just to show everyone what a fucking awesome guy you are. Uh, before I joined the show and I was unemployed, I had just moved to LA, uh, Ninja Sex Party was in the red, shall we say, uh -huh. and like needed uh, cash to uh, stay afloat. And we were gonna do a Kickstarter, and I told you about it, and you were like, dude, I'll just give you that. And like, I almost cried, because <laughs> it was so fucking awesome of you. Wasn't that in line at. It was online for the X2. <laughs> <laughs> Magic and Mountain. Six Flags Magic Mountain. <laughs> I remember when we were first coming up with the, like, the very first Starbomb album, mm -hmm. and it was like late. And, oh, I gotta tell you something interesting about that story, too. Anyway. Um, we on were, camera or off camera? On camera. Oh, sweet. We were, um... We were coming up with titles, and we were all giggly, and, like, every single title was, like, a parenthetical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But obviously we didn't end up with that. That chair didn't explode. Um, but the cool thing about that night is, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I've told a couple other people this, is, um, that's the night where I knew that, um, if, if, like, John ever got sick or like wanted to leave the show or anything. I was gonna like be like, "Hey Dan, you should be on the show." Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't know that. So I was like, "Man, this chemistry is great." Yeah, we we immediately fucking giggled like idiots from the day we met each other. Yeah. My granddad, when he was alive, he used to say like, regarding cursing, he was like, "If Shakespeare didn't have room for it in his poetry, then I don't have room for it in my vocabulary." Jeez. Yes. Yeah. And he wasn't like a jerk about it. It was just how he felt. And um. My grandma, on the other hand, is like watching the Lewis Black special where it's like, <laughs> FUCK EVERYTHING! <laughs> and just like laughing uncontrollably. That's awesome. Yeah. They were together for 62 years, dude. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's gonna be you and Susie. I hope so. That's madness. It had that weird alien on it, uh, and it kind of looks like those tanks to me. It's reminiscent in some way. Well, I'm happy to hear you say that because all it did was remind me of you. <gasps> And I thought for sure that you would say that. <laughs> and that's what made me think of you when I saw it. So that's the end of that story. Thanks, Aaron. Um, do you have any stories? Yeah, dude. And hey, fucking listen. If you're if you're transgender, you're beautiful, alright? This I know there was a fucking gross transgender joke in this one, but I certainly don't approve. And you're cool if you're transgender, so there you go. Fuck yes. Alright. Have a good one. See you later, love you. Oh, wow. Oh, this would be the most harrowing fucking thing to go through in real life. Oh, yeah, totally. I would do it. Would you? Yeah. For Susie? Yeah, if Susie was dead, I'd be like, I'll I'll kill the Colossi for you, darling. But she'd be dead, so she wouldn't know. I, I mean... Plus, I would totally like... I would have to really, really like the girl. Well, I like, really, really like Susie. Now. Nah. Oh, fiddle faddle. Fiddle faddle? You've won again, Aaron. Thank you. Congratulations. Wow. You're the big winner. You're big and important, and everybody likes you. Well, I bl Dan, I think that you can do it. You're tough and handsome, and and no one could be a better friend. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Magfest that we just did felt like felt like a like a wow we 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 actually made it kind of situation, oh, you know, yeah. and like as. As awesome as the last couple of years have been, it it still felt surreal, and it didn't feel because it was Game Grumps and because it was something that like you had built with John so much, it didn't really feel like I deserved like a lot of the success that came with it. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, like it was like I didn't build this. I just I jumped on, you know, when there were already like a million subscribers and stuff. Um, yeah, but, but now there's three million. Yeah, I'm, it's awesome. No, now 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 I'm a little bit easier on myself. But, don't hit that just yet. Yeah, there you go. Um... <laughs> you gotta savor the flavor. <laughs> uh, shit. Now hit that shit. Yes, 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 yes. Um... But, I mean, Ninja Sex Party, like, that was something that, like... 
Brian and I created out of nothing, you know? So, like, for that to, like, have taken off felt amazing. And, like, I think just because my dad was there in the audience and, like, he was beaming, you know, and my mom was there. It was just so fucking amazing. What was That's the point awesome. of all this? Um, oh, just that, like, so there were a bunch of people asking me, like, what's it feel like, you know? And, like, can I ever get to that point? And, like, the short answer is, yes, you can. And the other answer is, like, you know, I had a lot of fucking help, you know? Yeah. Like, I did not do this on my own and all that, like, my parents and my grandma, Granny Sexbang. How many fucking hits does this guy take? I know. My God. Uh, I remember Granny Sexbang gave me a check for, like, let's just say a four-digit number that was more money than I had in the bank at the time, you know? And that's what allowed me to do, um, the Sacred Chalice mm. videos when we made those. Um, which led to us getting our first manager and all this shit. But, like, I got to hang out with her the other day and I was like, Mom, like, oh, I call Granny Sex Bang Mom, for anyone who doesn't know that. Um, it's like, you know you made all this possible, and she was like, you made this po Like, it just, it just fucking, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with all this, other than that, like, this is the first time in my life I've ever felt, like, you know, really happy with career stuff, and like, it just feels great. I'm very happy for you, man. Thank you, uh, man. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, I want to see who is the Mike Karuba guy. Yeah. Who the fuck said Mike Karuba? Yeah, who is the voice actor? Dude, Eric Chahi, he if had you're out it. there, yeah. and you did Mike Karuba? Eric, if you listen to this, man, we are such huge fans of- Yeah, Interplay! <laughs> <laughs> we are such huge fans of yours. Great fucking game, that shit was awesome. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Enjoy uh, the rest of your life knowing that you've made something really cool. Yeah, something that made us super happy. And you know what, if I could sum up, Everything in one word, it would have to be good. Just kidding, it's my creep. Without going Ridiculous. into too many crazy details, Aaron and I have been doing like a lot of self improvement stuff, like going to therapy and like meditating a lot and yeah. shit. And I think, I think part of what you're talking about is like when you like get help, the help you need, and um, you start feeling like right in your own body and mind, mm -hmm. like you're not trying to like busy yourself so much by drowning shit out and like like silence isn't a scary thing anymore mm -hmm. you know cuz like your thoughts aren't like you know like constantly yeah so that's wonderful that you're saying that cool yeah that's that's totally true the chatter is yep. gone oh thank fucking god which is great yeah cuz that Ch shit just chatter is annoying as fuck that shit ruled me dude oh yeah of course it rule it rules us all until like you fucking dig that shit out, like, and not that we're telling everyone out there to get therapy, but, uh, get therapy, everyone. <laughs> I would recommend it. Yeah, I think, uh, just, life is too, um, it's too difficult to navigate without help, and it's too, uh, um, too important not to, like, really take seriously. Yeah, 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 not to, like, work at. Um... I don't know, but that's just us. You only get one, as they say on the streets. They do. Um, YOLO. I apologize if for the next however many episodes we do today, I guess seven, for the next seven episodes I seem just a touch drained, but uh, please know that it was one of the happiest experiences of my life, and I fucking super loved it. Bro, you know your happiness means a lot to me. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Thank you for being happy for me. <laughs> Let's go get Cold Stone. I don't want to. Oh, fuck. I don't like Cold Stone. Don't tease me with that shit. I like Dairy Queen. Oh, that's right. I'm big on Dairy Queen. I didn't know you had to pick a side. You don't have to, I just don't like Cold Stone. You know what my favorite is? What? That mochi place on fucking, in Little Tokyo. Oh, shit! Oh, don't even get me started. Let's go there. I had the motherfucking cookies and cream one. Ugh. Oh, man, it was delectable. Yeah, I know. I just, I just want to... You know how they have, like, girls lie naked and, like, Japanese businessmen eat sushi off of them? Yes. I want to do that, but, but with, with mochi, mochi and myself and no one else is invited. Sounds good to me. Yeah, it really does. Wait, mochi like the cat? You want to do it with mochi? Yeah, just me naked with your cat on me and no one else around. Oh, yes. Oh, dream scenario. That sounds like the most fun I've ever had in my life. You're not fucking invited. Well, uh, you know, I think that's arguable. <laughs> I think you may not realize that you want to invite me, 
But then when once I show up, you're like, well, I mean, you're here and I'm naked, so... And my cat. Hey, check out these butt nuts. My cat would be fucking thrilled if I was there, so don't even... I don't, don't know. even try to act like... Sometimes I feel like cats, like, you can know them for, like, ten years, and then you look at them one day, and they're like, I could just as easily kill you as look at you. You know, like... <laughs> don't say that about my cat. I would fucking kill for my cat. When I was 18, uh, I got really sick, um, with mono, and I was just laid up, uh, for, like, eight months. I couldn't, like, really get out of bed and shit, and it was really, really awful. And I just... It was the first... I had, like, a really happy childhood, um... And, uh, I, like, it was my first experience of, like, real, like, sadness, like, mm. over a long period of time. And I guess it was, I guess it was depression. But then I noticed, like, even when I got physically healthier, I was still, like, really struggling, like, mentally with a lot of stuff. Because I had gone away to college, and, like, suddenly, like, I don't know. I, th I think that's a tough age, just because, like, you know who you are when you're a kid. Um... But you, you're not a kid anymore, yeah. and you don't know how to be an adult yet. You don't know where you fit into the world. Yeah, and then you have these constant anxiety attacks about how, like, your kid life is over. Yeah, and what all does this, that mean? All the stuff that you, you love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I started noticing that, like, I was just, like, really sad all the time, and really, like, having a lot of trouble um, just getting out of bed in the morning, and, like, things were, things were bothering me. And basically, the short version of the story is I had... Obsessive compulsive disorder, and it was undiagnosed, and I didn't really know what it was. OCD kind of like feeds on your imagination, but for me, like it was that everything in my mind would not stop connecting, um, and as a result, like I couldn't do anything. So like my like when I was struggling with it, uh, my mind would be racing constantly. I almost failed out of school because of it, because I couldn't go to my classes. Like I didn't really leave like my apartment for maybe like five months, something like that. And I'll, I'll, I'll never forget, dude. Like it, it was, it was the weirdest thing. Like, um, I was at my friend, uh, Adam's house and, uh, I was sitting on the computer and I, I said something and he was like, dude, just stop obsessing about that shit. And it was just one of those weird, like unconscious, like things. And I just randomly typed in obsession into like Google search terms or whatever. And all these pages on obsessive compulsive disorder came up. And, like, I started reading about it, and I just, like, fucking immediately started crying, because, like, just, I was like, oh my god, I'm not fucking crazy. Like, I just have this thing. For, for me, the moment I found out what it was, as soon as it had a name, I had a focal point from which to attack it from. And then I was like, if, if it's a disease, quote unquote, then it has a cure, you know? Mm -hmm. But when it was just like this nameless thing, like hanging over my life, it was just really, really tough. That's why I tell people like, don't be scared to like go to therapy and like, don't think of it as like a sign of weakness to like ask for help if you're feeling sad. Cause yeah. like there's people out there who are like, who want to help you and are qualified to help you. It was cool. Yeah, I liked it. Great. Here comes that hug. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, everything is okay. You're my Better. special guy. Okay. Oh, you're my special guy. Proud of you. Proud of you. Proud of you, big cat. I love you, Dan. <laughs> Stop. They put me on, I think it was Prozac, uh, for, like, I was supposed to be on it for an indefinite period of time. And one of the, one of the misconceptions about those types of drugs is that they're happy pills. They're definitely not. They, they like, <laughs> they, you don't, they, they don't make you happy, they just, they even things out, like, in your mind, so you can think clearly and solve your own problems, you know? Like, you have to take the initiative and be like, no, I'm not gonna fucking live like this. Right, right. I, I think back to those those times, which now seem so distant, you know, they were, like, over a decade ago. Yeah. Um, and, like, I'm just so happy now, like, all the fucking time, because, like, I know what it's like to be sad, you know? And, like... It gives you, like, you have, there's the two different kinds of happiness, you know? There's the kid happiness, where you're just like, I'm happy because everything's awesome yeah. and, and new and interesting. I'm having a great time. Yeah, and, and then there's the other happy, like, the light at the end of the tunnel happiness, where you're like, I had to go through some shit, and, like, I earned this, you know? Yeah, the mellow happy. Yeah, 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 the, 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 the at peace kind of feeling. Oh, yeah, so, like, that's when I went to France, like, as an exchange student. Um, 
and that really helped me too. Like going to a, like a totally new place and like seeing like different environments and just being like, hey, you know what? Like the world isn't what I thought it was. There's yeah. like a lot more to it that I haven't seen. Maybe this is like dramatic, overly dramatic to say, but it is what happened. Like there was like this really pretty lake uh, in the middle of the town I was staying in. And um, I was on Prozac for, I guess like six months. And then like, while I was out there, I was like, I don't fucking need this shit anymore. So I like took- Did you, the, did you throw it? I did. Nice. I took the pill bottle and fucking threw it into the lake. Yes. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like one of the, one of the most satisfying like, personal moments, I guess. That's super cool. Uh, Christmas is on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, fucking CVS? It's like fucking March 4th and they're like, well, time to bust out fucking it's a holly jolly Christmas. Sure. Yep. Um, what do you want for Christmas, Dan? Me? Yeah. <laughs> to not be Jewish. That's a good one. <laughs> it's the saddest answer possible. I've heard that one all the time. I, uh, I don't know. I... I have a lot. Uh, your friendship, I guess. Whatever. Aw, that's nice. Yeah. Fucking whatever. Well... Why do you ask? Because I'm- I already know- I've already gotten you stuff, so... Are you serious for yeah, Christmas? Yeah, yeah, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Holy shit, that's I was just, awesome! I was just hoping it would, like... It's like throwing a darts at a... fucking... J big thing. Uh-huh. And then you act, and then you hit the thing that I wanted you to hit. Well, you know there's only, like, five things I love in this world. Okay. Rush, Stegosaurus, the New York Giants, uh, The Last Unicorn, and some other shit that I can't think of right now. Probably Lord of the Rings. Aliens. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, that, that would be the miscellaneous fifth category. So, here's what I got you. Mm-hmm. Um... Applesauce. Because I know that you like apples, but don't enjoy chewing. <laughs> when was this established? <laughs> okay. The second thing I got you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh... A top? Because I know you're way into dreidel, but tops are just- <laughs> they're just better. Yeah, I know you're way into dreidels. And the third thing I got you, which uh -huh. is the last thing, uh -huh. um, is a copy of About a Boy on Blu-ray. <laughs> just because- I mean, it's just an underrated movie, it's really good. Is that- wait, is that the one with Andy Samberg and Adam Sandler? Uh, I believe it's with Hugh Grant. Oh! I mean, I haven't seen it. So, to recap... <laughs> For Christmas, <laughs> in August. Yes. You got me apples. No, no, no. Sauce. It's it's Christmas in when Christmas happens. Yeah, but I mean, like we're in August or July, whenever this goes up. Right, but it's never too early to get presents for your beloved. Right, and the, well, thank you very much. I'm flattered by that you would say that, but like, uh, so f this summer for Christmas, you got me applesauce, uh, a non-denominational uh, spinny top. Yes. And. It, it's a, just a regular top. A Blu-ray of a Hugh Grant movie? You don't have to... Thank me, you just don't... yet. <laughs> what are you doing in our grump room? Hello, Suzanne! Oh, thank you. Oh, Susie made me tea! Oh, that's so nice. Susie is so nice! Thanks, babe. Love you, Susie. Okay. Thank you. This guest appearance brought to you by Game Games. <laughs> oh, no. Flood! The flood is dead. No! No! Uh, no! Mario, was I a a sister? Don't you fucking dare! No! No! Oh god, no! This is not cool, dude. I don't think I can take this anymore, dude. I don't mind dying. I'm just glad I got to love you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with me, game! Don't give me the shit! Don't tell me Flood is dead! Shine. Shine down on Flood. Shine down on Flood right fucking now. Give him life again. Delfino's... Dance! Mario. Dance him back to life! <laughs> you useless potato fucks! He's coming back, I think. Back on the cheek, baby. Just give him a quick little handy. Oh. Handy J. Wait. Wait. <gasps> oh! Yay! Oh my god! Oh. Thank you, Flood. So nice. I'm so glad you're okay. Oh. I listen, I get it. I'm I'm 38 and a lot of our audience is much younger than that. So, I'm going to get like the your old comment a lot. I don't really care that much. Um I'm actually pretty stoked 
Nobody cares. I, Everybody loves you. Yeah, I was pretty happy I've made it this far. But I mean, like, it, it's the... A lot of people my age will constantly say, like, Ugh, I'm so old. Like, just with this, like, defeatist attitude, you know? I'm just like... I don't know. I just hate it. It's a, it's such, like, a self-pity trip to be like, Oh, I, I've... I'm, I'm not X age anymore, therefore I matter less and I can do less and I, I can't accomplish anything. You can fucking accomplish tons of shit at many different points in your life. I mean, like, granted, when you get super old and, like, your parts don't work as well, like, okay, that's one thing, but... I mean, like... Well, it's also up to you to, like, make sure... You know, they, they're they They stay- yeah. Well, that's- that's- and I mean, that's kind of what bugs me on that level in general. It's- there's a- there's a lack of responsibility for, like, your own life. Like, everyone has to be responsible for their own life and their own happiness and their own choices. So, I'm old and, like, throwing up your hands and being like, uh, can't do anything. It's just a way of, like, kind of deferring the, um, the responsibility for your own life. Oh, yeah. Like, like, it, it, I don't know, that, that, like, that, that, then that song personifies it to me, like, I won't back down, like, fucking, fucking fight, goddammit, like, get off your ass and do shit. Did the episode start? Yeah. Are you serious? Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's, Let me dude, put the phone down. you can do whatever the fuck you want. No, I cannot. No, look, we man. We have an obligation to our lovelies. You are a to star. Put a good show. You're a star, baby. You think so? Yeah, man. I think you're great. Really? Yeah, I think you're like one of the best performers I've personally ever known. That's incredibly cool, and I have no idea if you're being facetious or not. Why would I be facetious? I think you're great. I saw you perform several times. Yeah. And it was all we performed together. It was fucking great. It's just like not a lot of eye contact happening. Well, it's because I was putting in the level. I think you're. I think you're a fucking beautiful human being. Oh, and, dude. And I think that you're a great performer. And I would never. Wow, he looked right in my eyes. Why would I be facetious about no, that? No, that actually feels really good. Well, there <laughs> that you feels go. great. There you go, man. Sometimes you just gotta fucking speak from the heart. Well, in that case, I think you are one of my top two favorite Game Grumps. Who's the first? Um... <laughs> Nintendo Wii. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Grump! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like... If you, if you want to do something... And like, cause I, I, I've, I've had that thought when I was younger, I used to think I'll never be, I'll never be good at playing guitar, I've never played guitar and look at how amazing some people are. But like, everyone sucks at everything when they're, when they start, you know? Didn't come out the pussy drawing Mozart. Drawing fucking Mozart, that's exactly right. Yeah. You did not come out the pussy that way. No. Not talent. Yeah. People throw around talent. But well, it's, it's that's that's what I don't like about the word talent. I think I've talked about this before, but uh, to me, talent is a very defeatist concept. Really? Yeah, because to say that you have talent is like as if it was like given to you, right? You know, as if it was like this this gift. Well, I think you can have like a predisposition, sure, and, and but like it still has to be developed. Yes. And that, yeah, that, that's what we're saying, like, put in the hard work. And if you feel like, if you feel like no one believes in you, I fucking believe in you. There. I said it. So, go out and do that shit that you want to do. And don't let, don't let light, life live you, you know? Like, you fucking be proactive and live your life. Because I, I think you only get one. And you gotta, I don't know. It's such a sad waste when you, when you see people look back at an advanced age and be like, oh, I just, I should have done this or that, like, just fucking do it now. Just do anything you want now. Yeah. I what's think what's I that mean... saying? You're never as young as you are today? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's how, that's just, that's how I've always lived my life. Just fucking... I want to do this thing, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, and look what you've accomplished. I've watched you build more than one empire. Which well, is crazy. How are you gonna accomplish anything if you don't do it? Yeah. And you're a good-for-nothing fucking high school dropout scumbag. Yeah, pretty much. It's- it's amazing. That's- uh, It's very inspiring. <laughs> I think everyone's just afraid of what people are gonna think of them. Yeah. Fuck other people.
Fuck their opinions. But who gives a shit? You, you know... Nothing ever happens unless you take the first step. Yeah. Um, you know, I think... It's, it's so... It's so obvious, but I think it's so easy to overlook the concept of, of like... The only way something's gonna happen is if you do it. I... I I've had that thought so many times in my life, where like, with like, stuff that panned out and stuff that didn't pan out, where I'm like, man, if, if somebody walked in on me, like, the first day of like, trying guitar or something, Oh god, yeah. and they were just like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, I don't know, trying to learn to play guitar, and they'd be like, pfft. You yeah, know, you know, like, you'll I never just, be this. I could just imagine that scenario of like, oh, <laughs> okay, you know. Oh, it's, it's happened to me. It's like, but. Clapton had day one, you know, like yeah. there's the, uh, everybody has the first day and nobody's gonna That's another quote. I like the the, the person who says it cannot be done should not interrupt the person doing it <laughs> Yeah, I'm like yeah, it's, it's it's exactly that I think it's because we all have like that voice in our heads that tell us like we're not good enough and like we're, we're we, we suck and whatever uh, it shows up in a million ways, but like the, the, the voice of doubt in your mind, and then when someone else comes along and says, and, and echoes that doubt, like, you'll never do it, like, th then, then that voice in your head gets, like, twice as bit loud, you know, like, I told you, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, fuck that voice. That voice isn't you, you gotta tell that motherfucker to go fuck itself. Yeah. That's a lot of fucks for one sentence, but... Yeah. Because I have watched certain episodes back. Cause they, like, they have good memories and shit, but it's- it does feel slightly narcissistic to watch oh, totally. episodes. I do not- it's like... I don't fucking- the, the only reason I would is if I missed you. Oh. If I was like- That's the nicest thing you've ever said to if me. I was like, man, I haven't seen Dan in a while. I'd like watch an episode of Game Grumps and I'd be like, man, we really don't get along. Yeah, fucking- <laughs> boy, now I'm glad I haven't seen him in a while. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hey, hey, I gotta you, save. You saved the game. Sweet. All right. I've been learning. I'm gonna completely. I'm gonna completely shift then. Aaron, I believe in you. You've absolutely got this. Thank you. There is no doubt in my mind. Wow, that's so nice of you. Yup. You. Dude, I mean, how could there be any doubt in my mind when you've so clearly got this? Thank you, man. Yup. Ah, oh, really nice of you. That 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 feels really. <laughs> If anything, I'm ashamed of myself being in your presence when you've got this so hard. Thanks, man. I, you know, ah, that's all I really needed was was a pat in the back from my best friend, Dan. Dude, I'm your best friend. Yeah, dude. You're, you're my best friend. You're the one who always gives me all of the good, all of the good niceness. Look, he's even got a rhythm about going out of the the spawn. Yeah, he's learning. Dude, you're getting it, Dan. I, I, it's so nice to watch. Are, are you proud? I'm, I'm, like, yeah, yeah, I'm a little. Like a I'm, my heart father. is swelling a little bit. <laughs> yeah. This is a Grinch moment Aww. for me. <laughs> Dan wanted to see this level called yeah. the Evolution of Mario, uh, 1981 to now. That sounds cute. It does. Yeah. Now being 2018 or now being 1992? Because that's the latest thing I see on there. Well, there's a whole nother stage. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the expert on all things Mario throughout the years. I believe- whoa. Baby Mario. Aww. He looks like a military general. Alright. Oh, whoa. so this is like- This is like Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong? Yeah, it is Donkey Kong, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Clonk. Yeah, that's adorable. Well, Kick I'm gonna him kill right him. In his oh, he doesn't want to get killed. Yeah, you sure don't. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> oh, he doesn't die. Oh, okay, cool. Noted. See ya. 1983. Yes. This is Mario 2. No. Yes. Oh no, this is Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers. Brothers. Wow. Yeah. Does this character model have these sound effects? I can't remember. This is fucking great. This is yes. This is very awesome. <laughs> oh, that cheese sauce. Is you got the fireball going back and forth? Yep. Oh, come on now. Yeah, very well done. That's like the record. Yeah, baby. Time for Super Mario 1. <laughs> Ow! Here I yeah. go. Yeah! Here I go now. Here I fucking go now. Just recreating it. Oh, this man. level's easy. It, it is, is super scary. easy. What's that up there? Home, 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 home. Home, 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 home. He didn't have the secret one up here. 
Unbelievable. Cheese sauce, you fucking clown! <laughs> you don't even know anything about Mario at this point. <laughs> oh. Shit. Uh. <laughs> There's not even a fuck it. Wait. Star? Yeah, baby. I bet that one up was there and we, you just didn't hit it dead on. No, I hit it dead on. I know where the fucking one up is. Do you think I'm a fucking pleb? No. I've played this stage a thousand billion times. Yeah! That was clever. That they did that. Okay. So what's next? 1987. Mar Super Mario 2. Oh, okey doke. 1987 2. 88. 88. Oh, maybe that's Mario 3. Maybe they skipped right to Mario 3. Because they couldn't reproduce it? Yeah, because Mario 2 is too fucking weird. Oh no, this is Mario 2. Because you can oh, play yeah. as any of them. Boop 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 boop. Oh. No, no, we are in Mario 3. Oh, okay, maybe that little segment in between was supposed to be... Yeah, in an indication that Mario 2 existed. Even though there are many people out there who would prefer that it did not. What stage is this? Oh, is this big... this is Big Small World. Yes, it is. Look at that. That's real cool. It's adorable. Look at yeah, cheese sauce. It look at just like a big small world. Ah, shit. <laughs> Fuck my ass. Wow. I'm so close. Oh, Frog Mario isn't the only thing that was in Mario Three. It's also Tanuki. Oh, look at that! And you can choose it from. Look at that. That's adorable. Well done. So what is this? Mario Four. 1990. Super Mario World. Yep, this- yes. Yes it is. I'm Yoshi! Oh my god. What the fuck is going on here? What this stage is, is this? Oh, there's a Monty Mole. Yes. This is crap. That's Mario World. Meow? Check me out. I love it. Yoshi! 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 Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry, I was just having fun. No, it's fine. <laughs> oh, Mario Kart! Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking love it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Wow, this is so much fun! Yeah, this is a brilliant oh, level. That was it. Well? Whoa, it actually, like... Wait, is that just how Mario runs? Yeah, I think it is. Wow, it just- it feels so weird just because of the graphics. Mm-hmm. RUN! Yo! Fuck yeah! Yeah! Ah! Oh, I have to make it to the other one. Ah. Oh. I have to jump on the music note. Alright, buddy. Yeah, bitch! Alright, 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 alright. Yay! Nice fucking done. Wow. wow! I love this. Yeah, this is one of the best. Mario Maker. 2015. Yeah, 2015. We did a little skipping. That's fine. <laughs> Say okay. Was it, was it Mario Sorry, Mario 64. Mario and fans of, of course, the greatest Mario of all time, Majora's Mask. Did I do it? Was that it? <gasps> I finished the stage. You did it. Yay! Very cool stage, cheese sauce. Very cool stage. You know. Well done. Here, come on, man. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Come on, bring it in. Come on. Yeah, there you go. There's my special guy. It's not okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, big cat. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay. Let's go to drop the base island. Your hair smells great. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, what we do have this time to make things different is uh, some lovelies have helped us out and told us what Helena likes. And apparently, oh, wait. We're not. She's in a good mood. Really? Whoa! 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 What the fuck happened? What the? Oh my god! What? Okay, this was not fucking planned. No, we literally just turned this on and that happened. We were like maybe two or three episodes we could get. God. We were like studying everything that everybody said, and we were like, we're gonna do it! God! And now she's on our team! <laughs> <laughs> Girls are so hard to predict! Um, you are ruining this trip down memory lane I'm, for me. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm actually having a really good time. I'm I just, know. I'm me, just putting up a tough guy front. Me too. <laughs>
<laughs> Me too. I don't want anybody to think that I'm a sissy boy because I'm like giddy that I'm playing Mario with my friend. Yeah, it, it really is nice. Woo! Oh, nice, five thou. Isn't that weird? I never think about the fact that I'm older. I'm the oldest of the Grumps, but I did think about it yesterday. Oh my God! Oh, 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 oh Jesus! Oh! Oh, he's protecting me. Oh, is he? Is he my friend? Oh my God! Is that your little buddy, it's my Metroid? Little guy. Whoa, he got. Oh, no, 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 uh, my little guy. It, really? I gotta, I gotta take. Oh it. yeah, he's less friendly. Oh, oh get off, get off, yeah, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh my God! Oh jeez. Whoa, you are done, Ow. son. Holy shatsky. Wait a second. Oh, maybe this was supposed to happen. Wait a second. Oh, it is your little guy. He's like, no, what have I done? He was just energy hugging you. Uh-huh. He's like, I know no other way to love. Yeah, uh. Oh, this is adorable. What are you doing? Oh, he's following me. Oh. Let's go in here, buddy. I think... I think we've all had that moment where we accidentally suck our mom's energy away, yeah. down to one. I'm making bad decisions left and right. Fuck yeah, you know what isn't a bad decision? You know what decision isn't bad that I made? What's that? Making you a friend of mine. Oh, Aaron. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I thought that was gonna take a much more, like, confrontational, like, we're competing against each other kind of tone. No. Yeah, whatever. Bro, you may have won this round, but I'm glad to be your friend, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that always... There was this one day where you were just like, Can I come over? And I was like, Yeah. And then you did, and we sat down and had, had a chat. And it was one of the best days ever recently. Whoa. Yeah. When was that? It was like, somewhat recently. Oh, when we were under your like, cool lampy thing? Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. I just had a little sh chandelier in my office. And it's on. It's got like a little couch underneath it, and I um, and we sat there and we and we just chatted, and it was a great day, and I really enjoyed day. bonding with my friend Dan. I fucking love you, dude. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's not because I'm on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just always wanted to say, yeah. no, shut up, you shut up. Mm -mm. No, I care- I care greatly about you and your feelings. Aaron! So if there's ever anything that bothers you and I, I go, care and greatly I about you far, and your feelings. You just let me know. Buddy. I will do that. Um, because it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt, right? <laughs> no, I don't want to hurt anybody, especially not you. Jeez, Aaron! What? Where's this coming from? Well, it's just how I feel. It's very nice. You know, we got blonde boys to a million. We got- uh, really? Yeah, I was- yeah. I was super happy about it, that and Matt awesome. and Ryan were super happy about it. Gotta get blonde boys to a million, and then we did it. We got it there, dude. I like husky girl voices. Dude, you know what I like about you? Me? What? Mm, probably that you're my friend. Ah, You. I like people who like me. That's a trait that's very valuable <laughs> in life. That's, yeah. That's a, that's a quality I find very attractive in women. They, they like me. You know what I like the most about women? What's that? Butts! Oh, yeah. Boobs! I'm also into the butt. And a really good personality. Not necessarily in that order. 100% in that order. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot his name is... <laughs> That's just... Frog! Uh... So his real name is Glenn, and if you name him Glenn, it becomes really confusing later on. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, actually. I'm gonna do it like a lowercase and shit, so it's like... Glenn's name is actually Glenn? <laughs> what? Glenn will do. He's got a big fucking Earthworm Jim arm, dude. Look at him. It's just straight up Earthworm Jim. All right, nice to meet you, Glenn. Mayhap a hidden door looks nigh. Let us search the environs. All right, now you're just making shit up. <laughs> it's, nobody calls it that. Look at hippie hops. Look at him hippie hop, dude. <laughs> Look at him fucking go. He's just hopping around! He doesn't even fucking walk, dude! He just hippie hops! Oh, man. God, this is great. Oh, I'm having such a good time right now. <laughs> oh, it's so like Michael Winslow, or... Oh, sure. Is that his real name? Yeah, the guy from Police Academy? Yeah, I didn't know if yeah. that was his character's name in Police Academy, or if that was his No. Name. I uh, met him. Really? Was he cool? Yeah, he was nice. That's awesome. I... I... Well, he was very thrilled because I guess people come up to him all the time and are like, 
I love Police Academy. And he's like, yeah, 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 I know, I know. Right. Um, but I came up to him and I was like, dude. Spaceballs? No. Oh. Which I'm sure he gets a lot as well. Sure. Uh, I was like, dude, you know, I loved you and all the, the, the shit that you're known for and everything, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, but you know what? The thing that I really, that really stuck with me when I saw it that you did was, it was an episode of Reading Rainbow. No shit. Where he was reading a book and he was doing all the sound effects with the book too. Oh, that's very cool. Um, and he was like, oh man! And he was like so excited. Yay! That makes uh, me happy. Yeah. He was like, I remember that! Man, that was, that was awesome! And like, that was so much fun! And like, I wanna do, I wanna do a show like that, like someday where I can, I can, I can read to kids and stuff. And I was like, oh, oh neat. Dude, Michael Winslow. Yeah. That's what I got. And I got two hands, my best friend Dan, and uh, anything else that rhymes. <laughs> What do you, flan. What do you- yeah. What do you need more than, uh, two hands and your best friend, Dan? <laughs> First of all, I'm your best friend? Yes. Well... Thank you. Su yeah, Susie's your best friend, yeah, I don't care. Right. <laughs> 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 she's- she, yeah, she's- She's, she's her a, own category. She's in a different category as far as I'm concerned. Right. Yes. Right. I feel like I'm back at my bar mitzvah. <laughs> really? Bum 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 It isn't like that close we're going on here? Yeah. Except, my bar mitzvah was in Israel, so... It was like... Oh my god. Yeah, it was- it was the real deal, dude. That's like the most Jewish fucking bar mitzvah you've I- I was nervous. Really? Of course, man, like... You're- you're- you're singing, like... Enormous Torah passages in a language you don't understand. Like, you've been practicing for months. And there's nothing but, like... Like, 90-year-old, like... Israeli Jews who have like, like killed and died for this country, you know, like to exist, and uh, and they're just like listening intently, and you know they uh, they care deeply about what you're saying, even though you have no idea. So I was super scared, and like wow. I had this moment. Uh, I did it. Everything went fine, and um, I had this moment like right afterwards. I was so relieved that I like I kind of like collapsed a little bit. Like, Whoa. I had, like, a fainting spell, almost. Damn. It was crazy! And were they like, oh, he's so touched by God! No, no, it, it was after I left the temple. Uh oh Yeah. <laughs> they- they were happy, though. The- my- my- my Israeli granddad That's was cool, super man. proud. Yeah! That's a nice story. It is! I- I- I feel good when I think about it. Cause, like, I didn't have much of a relationship with my Israeli granddad. Just cause he was so far away. And then he died when I was young, but like, that was the one time when he was like, super proud of me and like... Yeah! Oh, now I feel great. <laughs> Let's go back to talking about dicks. What do I diddle? Ah, go, go, go. By the way, that friggin', um... That Game Grumps animated with, uh... Um... I don't know how, how to say their name. Sebas Bear? Sebas Bear? Sebas Bear? Sass Bear? Is it Sass Bear? Is that how you say it? Yeah, isn't it just Sasper? There's a B, there's a B after the a first S, I think. Sasper. Yeah. And um, shit. What's the animator's name? Is it Ryan Scott? Is that the name of an animator? Uh, yes. Cool. I think it's him. But they, they the the guys who did the Diddle Kid animation, yeah. where they show Diddle. Yeah, where they show the whole fucking um. The whole process of them creating the the remix and yeah, it was pretty dope. It was really well done. Yeah. I was very impressed. Great I job, I guys. Love that. Thank you. The, for I, I, we didn't even ask them to do that. They just made it and then they sent it to us and they were like, "Do you want it?" And I was like, "Fuck, Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> this is awesome." I played it for uh, I played it for my buddies back home, and I got a text at 3 a.m. and he's like, "Thank you, Dan. I now have here I come!" <laughs> like stuck in my head. <laughs> You've been diddled. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, diddle kid! <laughs> I fucking love it. What the fuck am I supposed to? You've been diddled. Oh yeah, and the guy's face down behind him with his ass in the air. <laughs> I love diddle, it. Diddle, diddle, diddle. What a just, what a triumph! Very creative. What? So many creative lovelies. Yeah, tell me about it. We... They're they're fucking the most. Oh, like right, I can hook Sean to the fucking thing. Um, I still hold strong that we have the most creative fans. In the world. Of- of any fan base. They're unbelievable. I mean, you would've made it! Don't if you just them. jumped a little earlier. Hadn't douched around like, douche. Wow, dude, seriously, <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about this. <laughs> are you- are you- are you a million percent serious? What? No. Oh, okay. It's a joke. 
It's a joke, Dan. Or how can you be so sure that this isn't a joke? I can't- it's- it's tough because you are getting to be a much better actor as like- <laughs> as like our- our Game Grumps experience. Ow! Wow. Oh no! You really slid down there. Thank you for that compliment, by the way. I feel that way too. I agree. I- I'm- it's getting harder for me to tell when you're actually mad at me. Um... That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's- here's a hot tip. I'm never actually mad at you. I don't think there's a single thing that you've done that I've gotten mad at. There was a point- there was actually a point, um, really early on where I was, like, jealous of you. Why? So I was like, I was like, oh, that- uh, that Dan! <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Because you were amazing, and I was in like a Stop. I was in like a really shitty place, so I was like, Oh, I'm not worth shit, and this guy's fucking doing music videos, and- and he's, he's doing the show too, and he's so funny, and everybody loves him. This was after I joined Game Grumps? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was very brief, but- I had no idea. Yeah, I mean, I got over it. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But Shit, yeah, man, mean, that's wild. Yeah, take it as a compliment, I guess. I do, I do. Oh, that's not fair. Fucking really? Don't take that as a compliment. The, uh... Wow, that's but, so interesting. Yeah, but then I was like... What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> no, that was so, it. so essentially you got mad at me for being too nice? <laughs> uh, kinda, And yeah. never doing anything to piss you off? Yeah, exactly. Wow. That just... That speaks to, um... Remember that thing we, we looked at, like... The- the more people you're see- it's a graph. It's like, the more people you're seen by, the more you'll be hated, no matter what you do. Oh yeah, of course. Um... So, like, you might as well just do your own thing. Yeah. Well, and I guess you could- I guess you could tally it by percentage of hated. Oh yeah, there you go. So like, if you have a- if you have ten people and one of them hates you, that's one out of ten people hates you. But if you- if a- a- ten million people see you. Yeah. And one million of them hate you, that's Gosh, still 10%. Right. Um... So you're batting pretty good. Same average. I, you think I'm amazing? Well, yeah, doesn't everybody? I think you're amazing. No. Oh, I, everybody does not, I assure you that. I honestly wish that this show could literally just be us playing Kirby, but I, I realize that we're probably, like, already halfway through all the stages that exist now. Oh, yeah. So I'm, like, getting a little, like, bummed out. Yeah, I'm already having a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, though. No, I'm kidding. How oh. could I, when such m m magical treasury is afoot? Do you really, do you really consider it that? Yeah. Magical oh, yeah. treasury. Uh huh. Like a, like a treasurer, like somebody who like manages the money of. Yeah, the one economy. who treasures. I treasure your friendship. Oh, I treasure your French. <laughs> Isn't that what girls who hate each other say? I like, treasure. I treasure your friendship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're really important to me. Everything that you do is super important to me. Also, I went to the moon! <laughs> Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you in Peach again. Oh my god! The love of my life, TC! TC is alive! Mario, I'm out of here! <laughs> oh, it's awesome! Yeah. It's computing on the moon. Oh, that's so great! He's commuting. Oh, good Com for him. Commuting. Alright, I got, I got this sweet vantage point. Oh shit, I'm like right on the outside. Okay. Oh, someone died from the play zone. It's what? you and two other people. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Top three, bro. <laughs> Top oh, three. Oh, oh, oh. Where, oh, where, where, where? Uh, go right. Ah, oh. shit! Yes! Oh my oh god! Oh my god. Oh, it's the, you and someone else! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, if you fucking win, PUBG. <laughs> no! Oh <laughs> this my can't god! can't be real. This can't be real. Holy fuck. People are gonna think we paid off 99 other people. <laughs> <laughs> because this is a brand deal. Yeah, oh. Oh my god, yeah! it was! It was! Yeah! Woo oh my fucking god, dude! That's my first chicken dinner! Yeah! Oh my god, triple ass motherfuckers! Oh, dude. Look at my survive, 99.4. I've got a 100% kill. <laughs> I was the best killer in this entire game. Holy crap! Oh man, that is that is fab. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I'm uh, yay! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh well, I can officially say PUBG is a fun game. <sighs> Fuck man, that well, was outstanding. How did that person die? Just play zone. I think the play zone, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Fucking camper. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. No, no, I him, have 99.4 I mean. survive, okay? No, I'm talking about the, the him, because oh. he was camping so hard he died from it. Oh, that's true. Probably couldn't get out of the house or something. I'm a Terminator, dude. Dude, out fucking standing. Well, holy shit, next time on Game Grumps. Oh, I want to savor this. There's this screen. I've only seen it in screenshots. I know. Dude, take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I can actually take a screenshot with my iPad. Yeah, do it. Boop! Just Yeah! <laughs> New desktop background. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all next time. Hey, bye everybody. Oh, number one. 37 to 36. You did it. You won, Aaron. Who's my special guy? I don't believe it. Aaron wins. Man, I don't... Watch, watch the little spaceship thing. Watch it. Oh, God. Congratulations.